Recently, an implementation algorithm to improve skin-to-skin -skin practice in the first hour after birth was published in Maternal and Child Nutrition. This video explains a little bit more about that algorithm. There are many advantages to skin-to-skin -to -skin in the first hour after birth, and they have been very well documented. The Cochrane Review says, The evidence supports the use of skin-to-skin -skin contact to promote breastfeeding. In spite of the supportive policies, professional statements, and numerous advantages of skin-to-skin -skin contact described in the literature, the most recent Cochrane Review of early skin-to-skin -skin contact for mothers and their healthy newborn infants cites inconsistencies in the practice. The Healthy Children Project Skin-to-Skin -skin Implementation Algorithm aims to address this shortfall. In order to clarify timing of initiation and dose, both for quality improvement projects and for research projects, we have developed this Healthy Children Project Skin-to-Skin -skin Implementation Algorithm. Let's learn a little bit more about the algorithm. The recently published paper introduced this novel algorithm in order to analyze the practice of skin-to-skin -skin contact in the first hour after birth. The algorithm considers the mother's Robeson criteria, the skin-to-skin -skin experience, and Widstrom's nine stages. Why is it important to do this? It is important in order to analyze the implementation of skin-to-skin -skin care in the first hour after birth. This will allow us to illuminate the successes, the barriers, and the opportunities for improvement to achieve the standard of care for baby. Robeson's criteria is a 10-group classification system that utilizes straightforward obstetric parameters, such as parity, singleton or multiple pregnancies, gestational age, spontaneous or induced labor, prior cesarean section, breech fetus, and abnormal positioning, including transverse or oblique, in order to understand the situation of a mother and her baby. The use of the Robeson classification system decreases interpretation and allows comparison across hospital systems, states, and countries. Tracking the Robeson criteria can be used to determine if different groups receive different experiences during that first hour after birth. The algorithm itself is color-coded. Blue boxes and arrows point to the pathway of best practice. Red shows how and when the dyad has left the best practice trail. Yellow indicates that the dyad has encountered situations that are not best practice, but may not be precluded from the achievement of immediate, continuous, and uninterrupted skin-to-skin -skin contact in that first hour after birth. Green boxes indicate best practice in each parameter. Before the birth, the Robeson's criteria is noted. Then we ask the question, did the baby receive immediate skin-to-skin -skin contact? There are two red options for this choice. No, the baby did not receive immediate skin-to-skin -skin contact because of a hospital policy or protocol. Or no, the baby did not receive immediate skin-to-skin -skin contact because of emergent care required for the mother or the infant. The yellow pathway is if the baby does receive skin-to-skin -skin contact, but may be delayed for up to five minutes before that happens. The green pathway illustrates, yes, the baby received immediate skin-to-skin -skin contact after the birth. The next question is about continuous skin-to-skin -skin contact. Did the baby receive continuous skin-to-skin -skin contact, or was a baby removed for emergent care for either the mother or the baby? Or was the baby removed for routine care for the mother or the baby? Or did the baby receive the best practice and have continuous skin to skin during that first hour after birth? Was the baby uninterrupted during the first hour after birth? The red path might be if the staff interfered with the baby during the first hour after birth, or perhaps if the family interfered with the baby during the first hour after birth. The pathway of best practice would be if the baby received uninterrupted contact during that first hour after birth. Did the baby achieve Widstrom's nine stages? If the baby did not achieve Widstrom's nine stages, the baby did not receive best practice. If the baby did achieve the nine stages, then the baby did achieve best practice and has therefore met the standard. If the baby experienced immediate, continuous, uninterrupted skin-to-skin -skin contact for the first hour or so after birth 
and progressed through Widstrom's nine stages and self-attached and suckled, then they have achieved the standard of best practice. This novel algorithm combines Robeson's criteria for obstetric classification, parameters for best practice, immediate, continuous, and uninterrupted, along with Widstrom's nine stages in order to evaluate the experience of mothers and babies in the first hour after birth. This algorithm offers an opportunity for consistent skin-to-skin -skin research. I really like this algorithm because it shows the hospital if the hospital itself and its policies can support this recommended care. If staff are enabling the care to be provided, or do they need extra education support staffing? If the care is not being provided due to the mother or the baby needing emergent care, if families are being supported to provide this care, maybe the family is actually choosing not to have this care. Maybe further education is needed for them. It also has the potential to provide further evidence about the effects of babies completing Winstrom's nine stages of skin to skin. You could compare the notes of babies who complete the nine stages with those who don't to see if there's any differences in the care that potentially interfered with them completing the stages. For example, is it different medications? Is it the actual settings? Are different hormones being triggered? This algorithm can be used to provide further evidence for the optimal provision of skin to skin. And we all know we need that. There are resources that are available at www.skin2skin.org. Included in these resources are editable versions of both the algorithm and the Robeson's criteria chart. Please help us implement this algorithm and increase the consistencies of skin to skin in order to help make sure that every mother and baby gets the best possible care. Please feel free to email us at info at centerforbreastfeeding.org with any questions. The open access version of the paper is available online. Thank you.